Okay, here's a new Microsoft band. I picked it up this morning. Uh, first impressions, it's a pretty cool device. Uh, I've been shopping for fitness watches for a while now, but I'm waiting for this one because of all the additional sensors it has. I picked up the medium. There's three band sizes and they're not interchangeable, so you really need to try it out in the store. Medium's the safest bet, um, large if you have thick wrist. I'm in between a medium and a large, and it has a ratchet type system. So you, cl you um, snap it on and then you just kind of cinch it. And then as you cinch it, it like you feel it pulling. And then to release it, you just press two buttons. Um, I don't know who the small band really is for. Maybe like kids and really small girls. Also, if you just look at the band, you can't tell what size it is. There's nothing, there's no markings, there's nothing on the band that tells you what size it is. So at the store, when people were trying out the bands, they're not putting it back where it belongs. They were like mixing it all up and it got the reps all confused on what size was what size because you really can't tell just by looking at it. The only way you can tell is if you stack them on top of each other and that's how you know. But like a lot of people were asking, is this medium, is this large? Like it's hard to tell. Um, it wears pretty comfortably. Um, um, the view of the screen is great if you wear the wear it with the screen on the inside of the arm. Um, it's the way I usually prefer anyways is because it lets you see more more information if you're like holding something in front of you or doing something with your hands you don't have to rotate your arm to see the time and information you just shift your arm or you just slightly turn it so it's better to like supinate a little bit than to pronate a lot. Um, it doesn't have Gorilla Glass. It comes with a screen protector. Um, they also gave a Starbucks gift card. Um, they kept stressing to me that it's water resistant, not waterproof. But if you look at the, the standards it meets for water resistance, it should be able to handle swimming. So I don't understand why you couldn't go swimming with this thing. Um, let me see. The mail app's pretty cool. Now, uh, with all the mail and the... Um, Facebook and the uh, calendar and everything else it only starts from that time on so the minute you activate it or you turn on the watch and you set it up from then on then it, you can check your stuff like your email but you can't check the email from before you get the watch before you set up the watch so I set up the watch today I can't check the email from yesterday or the day before so basically when you install the watch you're at day one so all the notifications you can't check your calls from before day one you can't you know check your calendar or anything everything is from that moment on um, it's great the mail um, comes in everything is set up through your Microsoft account so whatever you have um, set up through your Microsoft account or, or uh, linked to your Microsoft account it's going to automatically be set up so for example I didn't have Facebook linked up to my Microsoft account so I wasn't getting any Facebook information until until um, I linked it up. Same thing for the email. It just knew which email accounts to look up. I didn't have to type in anything, which was kind of strange. Um, you can rearrange the tiles any way you like. Um, if you don't have some, if some tiles aren't useful to you, you can always remove them. Um, if you want more tiles, you can add them. I think the limit's like 11. Um, the calendar is really great. It lets you see the upcoming week. So from the day, from today, to seven days is what you can see and if you've got multiple calendars on your calendar and you've got friends sharing calendars with you you can see everybody's calendar on your on the thing which is super convenient so my friends have shared calendars with me and I can see everybody's calendar um, the weather being able to see your weather without pulling out your phone is great too um, the basic mode okay right now watch mode is on when watch mode is on it's always showing the time um, the white text and the black background when you have watch mode off it means the screens turned off when it, it the device is um, asleep or the screens turned off so you have to tap the power button to turn it back on if you have watch mode off um, when you're at the home screen you just tap it to bring up the fitness stuff um, I think the step counter is like any other step counter so far it doesn't seem like it's more accurate or less accurate I mean, I, I, in general, I find all, all step counters to be pretty inaccurate. I mean, they all seem to make your step count look bigger than it really is. Um, so when you scroll over to the heart rate monitor, it's going to acquire your heart rate, and then it's going to lock it on. Um, so, so far, I'm really liking it. Um, I've gotten used to the way it feels. Um, I did go back to the store to see about exchanging the medium band for a large band. 
but um, all the large and mediums were already gone and the smalls were still there though um, but my medium feels smaller than the store's medium um, so that's why I think maybe that my package accidentally came with the small band not the medium band and I didn't at the time didn't realize to check my band against the store bands but uh, I, I'm on the back order list for large in case I want to exchange it but yeah so far I'm liking it it's a great device